Merch Chapper here with the fourth member of the jury, Hope. Let's get right into it. Uh, when did you realize all hope for you was lost in the game and that the house may vote to evict you? Man, when I lost that POV against Ty, I knew it was over for me. The crown was literally made for Koozie, and the girls, they needed a target, and I was up next. So the moment I lost that POV to Ty, kudos to him, I knew I was going home. So I knew right away, right after I lost that POV. Uh, what did you think when Ty won the veto and Claudia nominated Kuzi to sit beside you? I, again, I knew I was going home. Um, the moment Kuzi sat next to me, um, I had to, you know, be what I said I would be for Kuzi. And that's a soldier. Um, I'll sacrifice myself for her again because I truly believe she's playing an amazing game. And it's not her time yet. So I already knew what it was. Uh, speaking of Ty, can you tell me more about what happened with you, the letter, and him? Me, the letter, and Ty. Um, let's start with the letter first. Um, I found the letter in my sock. My girlfriend put it in there for me. Um, she truly is amazing. Um, but the letter just reminded me that, you know, like, I'm in this game because I'm trying to make people proud. I have a life after this game, and I have people that love and support me. So don't forget that. Don't lose hope. And I shared it with people that I cared about, which is Ty. And my intentions was not to obviously manipulate him in any way. I wanted to share something that I hold dear to me. But um, how he took it, I that's Ty. You know, I, I, I don't live in his shoes. And I don't think like Ty. So that's what my take on it is. You volunteered to go on the block in an effort to compete in power of veto competitions. Why did you agree to go on the block and put yourself at risk? So coming into this game, I wanted to be unique. I wanted to do things that no one in the game of Big Brother has ever done before. And I wanted to leave my mark. I know no one in the game has volunteered himself, not once, not twice, but three times to go up on the block. And it was all part of the strategy to make everybody think that I was just there to compete there to you know get the lights the cameras the lights camera action ah, ah, get the, the show the the moments but it was all to lower my threat level the moment that people heard that everybody knew they could use it to your advantage if hope goes out and competes and he gets the power he doesn't care about the power he just wants to get the moment and you know show the world that hey i'm here to compete yeah 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 whoa 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 but it played out perfectly for me and yeah, that's why I put myself on the block. And when you're on the block, I'm telling you, brother, you get information that you never would have got if you were not on the block. I bonded with Kuzi and literally the crown was formed after I put myself on the block. And the people that were in the crown were amazing people. So I put myself on the block and, hey, I'll do it again because you just, it's just different. And I want to be different. And that's it. Can you take me back to the fatal feast and what you thought when Kuzi chose to give you safety first? Um. When Kuzi picked me um, for safety first, I think it was a big test to see if I was truly loyal to the crown or not. You know, there was a moment in, in, the, in my time in the, in, the, in the manner that Kuzi sat me down and gave me a series of questions. She said, Anika and Santina, who would you vote out? I said, Santina. Santina and Daniel C, who would you vote out? Santina. And she says, Kuzi and Santina, who would you vote out? Kuzi. And she knew that I was close to Santina, and I was, I'm not gonna lie to you, personally and on game level, I really wanted to go far with her. But when she picked me first, that was the determining factor of like, if Hope is truly loyal to the crown or if he's loyal to Santina. And I regret it, not picking Santina. That's the biggest mistake I made this whole game, not picking her, because if I had picked her, should have picked Daniel C, Daniel C would have picked Anika. Crown members are safe, Santina is safe, Hope is happy. But what did I do? I picked Anika. She picked Daniel C, and Daniel C gave it to Shania, and I didn't save the one person that was truly loyal to me. Um, while we are on the subject of the Fatal Feast, why did you decide to keep Renee over Santina? Kuzi wanted to keep Renee over Santina. Um, I could have spoke to the crown and pleaded them to vote for Santina. We had the numbers. We could have easily saved her, but Kuzi is the crown. She is the queen, and... I'm sorry, brother, but whatever the queen wants, the queen gets. Um, you came up with the name of the crown. Where did that name come from, and why did you choose to align with who you did? The crown or Phil remembers with people with different 
life stories. We all came from different walk of life. Jonathan, my brother, I love him so much from Newfoundland. And I'm so thankful that Big Brother brought us together, but I never would have crossed paths with him. Guzzi's from Zimbabwe. He's literally out here representing so much more than just herself, but for people too. Daniel C, I never, ever would ever be this close to someone like him, but we bonded and we became very good, close friends. And Anika, the fearless Anika from Bangladesh. And it was just people with different diversities and we all came together with one common goal to try and go as far as we can in this game. And the crown made sense. It fit the theme of the season. We're in a manner and we need a queen. The queen goes on top of, the, the crown goes on top of whoever has power that week. And so that's kind of what we stuck with, the crown. And plus Jonathan looked like a king. So <laughs> it made sense. King Kuzi, King Jonathan. Put them together, what do you get? A crown, boom. <laughs> Um, how important is loyalty to you both in the game and in life? In life, um, loyalty is everything, you know, loyalty is not given, it's earned, you know, and I showed Kuzi that I was loyal to her the moment that I took the block in her stand against Zach. And I, the whole time I was very loyal to Kuzi, but at the same time, I, I became loyal to Santina too. And those are two forces that were not trying to work together. If I could have brought them together, I think all six of us could have moved very far in this game, but they just were not messing with each other and they weren't really, you know, working together. So my loyalty was split in half and they were both on two different sides. In the real world, um, loyalty gets you everything that you want. You know, if you're loyal to a cause or you have a stance or anything, you stay loyal to that, I'm sure you can get very far. It might not look good in the beginning, but later on, it's gonna look amazing. It's gonna be perfect. Uh, if this game, and this is my final question, if this game comes down to two crown members, how will you choose who to vote for? If it comes down to two crown members, I'll put them in three rankings. Kuzi's always number one for me. And Nika, then Daniel C. That's the order. So if Kuzi and Daniel C or Nika are sitting together, I'm picking Kuzi. If Kuzi and um, any other crown member is in, I'm picking Kuzi. If Daniel C and Anika are in, I'm picking Daniel C. And if Anika is in with anybody else, I'm picking Anika. Because I truly believe those people are the people that made a lot of impact in the game. You know, so those are my answers. And uh, hopefully I answered all your questions. I hope I met your expectations. And that's Amazing. it, man. Yep. Hope. <laughs> Thank you so much. My man. Thank you.